I'm here on the east side of Detroit at the remains of the Federal Mogul Building. This company got started in 1899, and its biggest claim to fame, for me anyway, is that Jack Kerouac worked here. In the winter of 1944, Kerouac had a desk job. He worked graveyard shift, midnight to 8 a.m., but he didn't really do much work. He got away with sitting at the desk, reading books from his peers, books on literary criticism. He said it was the best job he ever had. Federal Mogul was a big global auto parts supplier. They got famous for developing an innovative new way to manufacture engine bearings. Now this whole area, including the houses and the neighborhood on the other side of the fence, are contaminated due to the lead smelting. In 1966, the company moved out, relocated their world headquarters to Southfield, Michigan. A couple other businesses used this property, another metals company, a trucking and distribution company, all this before the report on the lead contamination came out. Piles of concrete blocks trying to fall on someone. It's gonna happen someday. But it's not gonna be me, man. There's the stairs. Nature's reclaiming it. HSP. What's this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm summoning a jack-in-the-box from hell. <laughs> this is the timeout room. Whole walls coming down. Dig the layers of paint on this patina just flaking off. Oh, what's down here? A basement? Oh, shit. <laughs> that is spooky as hell. I wonder if this still works. This <laughs> is playing. All right, man, luckily for me, I brought a flashlight. Oh, man. <laughs> Do I dare? Hello, I'm coming on down. I got a crew here doing a video survey location. We don't want to start on no one, but we are coming in now. Okay. Wow. Tons of barrels under here. What could be in all these? Radioactive waste. Oh, look, this one's open. Face hugger come jumping out at me. What's all that back there? Looks like wood storage or something.
But yeah, man, that'll be it for the basement. More exciting stuff upstairs. <laughs> weird stirrups all over the ceiling. I know I want to get upstairs, but uh, check out this area back here first. Uh, oh, there's another building back there. Huh. Closer to the road it is. All JSH, those bricks are reading. Let's see. Duck under these branches here. Oh, shit. Just a little brick building. I heard sirens back there was for but man there's not a single no trespassing sign anywhere so I feel like can't be doing nothing wrong just exploring a bit of Detroit's history got a fire in there Smokestack rise into the distance. Calling me forth from the upstairs part. Well, let's see if I can get in over this way. All this moss. Metal pieces. It's a cable. Where is that upstairs part I saw? Is it back here? I must have overshot it when I came back in this way. I still want to go check out those towers, but. I'm gonna go upstairs first. If I can, you know. Let me check out some more street art. Because why not? Stairs were they over here? Oh, yeah, this is where I came in first. Man, am I really wanting to go up there? I hope I don't kick the bucket. <laughs> Here. 
stairs are still solid. One more. Think, think. Now's the time. Oh, this is a dead end, man. This is just a bathroom. Just myself and down below. That looks crazy. So another bathroom over there. Old handle. <laughs> I love it. I love the texture. Tina. Now's the time. It's more of the upstairs part, but certainly not safe. Back out of the open, big open field, a lot of overbrush here. Crumbling ruins. Oh, check this out. I see the remains of a stairwell over here. Garage door stuff. Man, such a beautiful day out. A great day for urban exploration. There's people's houses over there. Some of them are pretty nice shape. Careful guys, no handrail. Look at this man, what a view. Oh man, don't trust the roof out there. So it looks like just another bathroom. That wasp nest, buddy. Ooh. Kelly for senator. Right here in the toilet. <laughs> I don't know who Kelly is. Such awesome structures, man.
toilet seat. Another one of these lock boxes. I've seen a couple of these laying around. This one's locked shut. Oh, here's another one laying open. Here. Oh, another stairwell? Or is this a dead end? These are the stairs that are broken off. Watch your steps, son. Work my way back down. Keep the camera rolling in case anything crazy happens. If I get serious bodily injury while urbexing, I at least want video of it. All right. Now, what's the best way to get back to these towers? There are piles of rubble. Woo. I was right up there. All right, man, here's the tower. my way through the underbrush. That's why I always wear long pants when I go urbexing. Okay, here we are. This building is no more. Piles of bricks. Imagine what it sounded like when those came down. Oh man. Ah. So many piles. Bricks are piled so high. Haggerty. Oh man, look at that. There's a hole in the tower, guys. <laughs> And there's a bunny rabbit. Run, rabbit, run. Different marking on this brick. Mel, M E L, with a cross and a circle. Man, an old case of Budweiser. You know people have come out here to party. Their Bud and their Corona. That's where Corona came from. And their Labatt Blue, because we're in Detroit, yo. Oh, what the heck, someone's got a keg in here, too. <laughs> a couple. People have just been raging back here. Dude, that's not even tapped. That's not even uh, empty. But it's stale as hell though.
<laughs> you know, like, you feel it's a bad idea, but you can't stop yourself, man. <laughs> so real life, it was gonna be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the tunnel. Oh my gosh, should I climb it? All right, I chickened out, you guys. It would be so awesome to see the view from the top of that tower. But you know what? I'm not as young as I used to be. 